So marketing isn't advertising. Marketing is not hype. Marketing is not hustle. Marketing is what we make and who we make it for. It's the side effects of our work. It's the way people expect us to be in the world. A brand isn't a logo. A brand is a promise that we make people about what we're going to do the next time they interact with us. What I have learned mainly is the best thing about sharks, meaning entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs are, they take affordable steps. They act, they learn, and then they repeat. The average person has to read four to five hours a day just to keep up. Think about your emails, your inbox, you know, business plans, whatever you're studying, right? If you could just double your reading speed and save two hours a day, what's two hours a day over the course of a year? You gotta, you gotta believe in your bones that your price is worth it. Yeah. And in point of fact, uh, why are they asking for a discount? Because they're not getting their money's worth? So you proceed with an application of tactical empathy, probably a label of some sort, because you need to get a clear picture of what's going on on the other side. I really, really enjoy talking about fear because it doesn't, for me, it doesn't go away. I almost think of it almost like another little like spirit. It's just like sitting there, I acknowledge it, I let it be there, and then I try to take like the tiniest little steps to, to push beyond the fear. Humans have always evolved with our tools. Uh, in fact, it's our ability to design better tools that has allowed us to advance as a civilization. And we've always managed to stay one step ahead. I think it's really exciting that technology is starting to catch up by forcing everyone to be at home for a while and forcing teachers to teach from their home. My job is really one thing and one thing only, and that is to serve the artist, serve the engineer, serve the producer, serve the label. It's all about serving the team. That's my job. It's not about me. It's about we. The reality of why the SEAL community can do amazing things, it's about the training, the crawl, walk, run philosophy. And the best thing I could say for organizations is make your critical decisions before they become critical. When you're an engineer, you overcomplicate things. Because mm -hmm. you think the more technically interesting it is, the more commercially viable. When the opposite is often the truth. Birds fly around the world, they don't see any borders. So you're going to have to learn to function and compete in a borderless world, but that's also a huge opportunity. Basically, I've been telling people, hey, we don't have a choice on whether we digitally transform, the choice is on how well we do it. We all need tools, we all need insight, we all need to be called out on our staff, and people need tools now more than ever. The moment of struggle is real. We can all relate to it, but the decision that we make in that moment, do we rise? Do we fall? Do we live in vision? Do we stay in circumstance and make excuses? To me, that's what separates us. I had the definition of a hero wrong. Everybody I asked said heroes are ordinary people who do extraordinary things. We actually believe that heroes are extraordinary people who choose not to be ordinary. So when I'm looking at emerging technology, I look at who's filing what patents. I like to look at kind of developer documentation, like anything that's coming out that's publicly available you know, really digging into that. So understanding the nuances of that combined with the behavior and the marketing side is how you can really build connections for what's coming. I did this, I was successful. Therefore, if I keep doing this, I will continue to be successful. No, you did this, you were successful and that's great. And if you keep doing this, you may totally fail in the future. Successful people speak different than unsuccessful people. They say the word we, not I. They say the word, I decided, thought I felt. And the third thing, they talk about what they do want, they don't talk about what they don't want. It's really about teleporting your perception to far distant places. And now you can look at an agribusiness in Brazil or a mining site in Africa with more precision and clarity than if you were standing there yourself with your own eyes. The, every problem we're experiencing right now that you and I are experiencing, it's not because of a virus. It's because of human decision-making. And the reason is we're using our intuition. Mm. Intuition is obsolete for decision-making, right? Human brains can't take in enough data.